Hi everyone, welcome back to Pretty Well. Dr. Angela here with you. In this video, we're gonna focus on choline, an essential nutrient that's really important for good brain health. I'm actually going to put together a series on brain health for you guys. I have always been particularly interested in um, learning about ways to support brain health. First of all, I'm just you know so interested in how our human brain works. Uh, additionally, I have quite a few genetic risk factors. Both of my sides of the family have many neurodegenerative disorders, um, things like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, ALS, pretty prevalent in my family on both sides. And so I've always been really interested in keeping up on the research, learning ways to protect my brain, protect the brain of my family, my immediate family. I'm considering what our risks are. I'm so fascinated by uh, all the emerging science on our genetics and the ways that we can now um, have access to our own personal genetic history and can run some of that raw data through some of the various databases to help us figure out where we might have gene variants or SNPs that put us more at risk for certain things. And then with that information, being able to really do proactive and preventive work. That's the point of the whole epigenetic field of science and research. So very exciting times. There's a lot we can do, a lot of ways we can really have hope around changing the outcomes of some of the places where we might have increased predispositions for certain types of illnesses. So um, I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I have learned, some of the things that I do with folks in my practice around supporting brain health. Um, in this video, we're gonna focus on choline. So choline is a really important precursor to other nutrients in our body, other molecules. So phosphatidylcholine is one of those molecules and acetylcholine is another one of those molecules that are very, very important to brain health. Phosphatidylcholine is a very special kind of fat that helps us have uh, very healthy cell membranes. So this is very important inside the brain, but it's actually very important all throughout the body. It helps keep all of our cells healthy, helps keep those cells alive longer by supporting the integrity, the structural integrity of each cell, and then helps each cell really um, do their job more efficiently because um, there is better cell-to-cell -cell communication um, there are important receptors on the surface of each cell membrane. And so keeping the cell membrane healthy is important to having each of those receptors work more efficiently, do their jobs better. Um, so in addition to the phosphatidylcholine, um, the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, that one is just so important in so many functions of the brain. Many of you guys have read books on Alzheimer's or studies, and you'll see that acetylcholine comes up quite a bit. It's really essential in helping with cognitive function and memory. It's also really important in things like our sleep-wake cycle, which again, if we are not sleeping adequately, that can really disrupt memory. And many of us, as we get older, do have trouble with getting deep rest or staying asleep. So acetylcholine, very important for that as well. It's also really important to the health of every single neuron. So the nerve cells, both in our central nervous system and also throughout the periphery of the body. And it really helps with um, motor function of the nerves as well. So basically that communication between the nerves and the muscles and so our coordination, all of that, very, very important. So there's a lot of great places in the diet that we can access um, good food sources of choline. So choline is very rich in eggs, in the yolk in particular, and poor eggs, they've been so demonized because of the whole controversy around cholesterol. I'm gonna put links in the description box to some doctors who have done some very good research to talk about why it's important for us to have um, choline-rich foods and to not be afraid of eggs if you like to eat eggs. They're actually quite good for your brain. Uh, beef is another uh, really choline-rich source of food. Um, all animal meats actually are, so chicken. Um, if you like fish, fish is also very rich in choline. Cod, salmon, scallops, all those are good. Um, 
and all of the organ meats, um, liver, very rich source of choline. Uh, we do find choline in vegetables as well, particularly the brassica family vegetables. So broccoli, broccolini, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, those are all wonderful sources of choline. And then for those of you who are nut lovers, peanut butter or raw peanuts are also a very good source of choline. So lots of ways we can get a great amount of the precursors to make uh, phosphatidylcholine and acetylcholine in the body. Um, I am such a fan of you know sneaking nutrition in wherever I can. So I very often will make my morning smoothies uh, with lots of antioxidant rich berries and I sneak all kinds of supplements in there. And so I also add lecithin powder, which comes from soy, and it is very rich in both choline and phosphatidylcholine. So you can't taste it at all when you blend it into a smoothie. So along with collagen, along with all these other wonderful nutrients um, that I like to use, I just you know proactively sneak the lecithin slash phosphatidylcholine powder in. I use the one from Designs for Health. I'll put links. There's many good ones on the market, but that's the one I use in my smoothie. Uh, every morning to kind of get an edge. Um, so I know that the focus of this video is, you know, brain health as part of our brain health series. However, I just want to shout out also that um, choline is also very helpful for liver health because it's so helpful for the cell membrane in general, like we talked about before, um, the structural integrity of the cell and helping with the efficiency of each cell. It's actually very, very protective and restorative to liver health. And so many of you who also struggle with hormone issues, uh, choline can be very helpful to hormone balance because anytime we work on improving liver health, detoxing liver, improving the energy of the liver cells, we're also gonna help with hormone balance, um, definitely any of the estrogen metabolism issues that go on, things um, like endometriosis or fibroids, anything related to having hormone disruption or hormone imbalance. Choline's another really good nutrient there. And then also a couple weeks back, I put out a video on fatty liver disease because it's so common. I feel like we don't talk about it enough. And choline is actually very helpful at preventing and um, reversing fatty liver disease and the sequelae of fatty liver disease. So just another good one. I'll link that video for you guys as well um, if some of you didn't catch that one and are interested in watching it. So. Those are some basic ways to access choline through diet and supplement. If there are more advanced neurodegenerative issues going on, things like Parkinson's, things like Alzheimer's or dementia that are more progressed, um, you can also consider working with uh, an integrative doctor, medical doctor, osteopathic doctor, naturopathic doctor trained in IV nutrient therapy, and you can actually use IV phosphatidylcholine, intravenous phosphatidylcholine alongside glutathione, and that can also be very helpful um, for brain health. So again, I'll put all those links in the description box. Um, thanks so much for being here with us. Uh, keep an eye out for the additional video segments that are gonna come out on brain health in this series. Uh, like and share with anyone you think that this would be helpful for. Um, thanks so much for being here with us week after week. Thanks for subscribing. Um, have your friends subscribe too if you think that they would like free naturopathic medical content every week. And um, Dr. Patty and I look forward to seeing you back here with us next week. Thanks so much, everyone.